This presentation reviews the changes that were made to the Leading with Care resource approved by the General Assembly in 2023. In reviewing Leading with Care, we acknowledge that the denominational office of the Presbyterian Church in Canada is on the traditional territory of the Huron Wendat, Petun, Seneca, and, most recently, the Mississaugas of the Credit Indigenous Peoples. We acknowledge the land's significance for the Indigenous peoples who lived and continue to live upon it and whose practices and spiritual ties were connected to the land and continue to develop in relationship to the territory and its other inhabitants today. And we acknowledge as we review safety in the church that the church has sometime failed to be a place of safety, we confess our failings, apologize and we reaffirm our commitment to healing and reconciliation with Indigenous people, First Nations, Inuit, and Métis. The Leading with Care Policy and Procedures resource can be found on the Presbyterian Church in Canada website on the Safety Policies page. The address is displayed on the screen. The web page can also be found by searching the words Leading with Care or Safety Policies. The same web page that houses the Leading with Care Policy also has the Church's new policy for addressing harassment in the Church, which was approved by the General Assembly in 2023. The church's policy on harassment addresses any harassment based on skin color, place of origin, ethnic or linguistic background, nationality, religion or religious belief, gender, including pregnancy, gender identity, sexual orientation, marital or family status, age, and ability. When the harassment is sexual in nature, the church uses the policy for dealing with sexual abuse and sexual harassment. The Sexual Abuse and Sexual Harassment Policy, and resources that support its implementation, are also found on the Safety Policies page, the same page as Leading with Care and the Policy for Addressing Harassment in the Church. While some features of the Leading with Care resource have changed in the latest edition, the central feature of Leading with Care, which is the policy statement, remains the same. The Leading with Care Policy Statement says, that it is the policy of the Presbyterian Church in Canada that all persons, and in particular all children, youth, and vulnerable adults, who participate in the denomination's programs and ministries and, or, use the denomination's facilities will be cared for with Christian compassion and will be safe. A video has been created since Leading with Care was updated that reviews the procedures that are followed to implement the policy. The new video is a good introduction for people who are not familiar with the policy and its procedures. The video is also a helpful tool for those who are required to do a review. After watching the video, people can use the new Review of Knowledge tool to reinforce what they learned while watching the video. Click on the button entitled Review Your Knowledge on the Safety Policies page to complete the questionnaire. People who complete the questionnaire will receive an automatically generated email indicating that they have participated in a review of the policy. The personalized email can be shown to a leading with care committee or clerk of session, presbytery, or to an employer as proof of the bearer's participation in leading with care policy training. The differences between the original and current edition of leading with care fall into two categories. The first category of changes made to the Leading with Care resources were simple edits to the manuscript. Edits were made to clarify the meaning of sentences and sections that people found confusing. To ensure greater consistency of expression and language. To correct mistakes in copy editing. To update the names, locations, and number of available resources. To expand upon a few areas where there was ambiguity or confusion, and to update the appendix. The second category of changes made in the latest version of Leading with Care are the addition of a few new sections. The first of two important new sections in the policy is the page called Policy Overview, found on page 5 of the Leading with Care booklet. This section is a broad explanation of the whole of the policy and procedures for easy reference. A new introduction to Leading with Care was also created for the latest edition of the policy. The original introduction provided the reader with a history of the steps that led to the development and approval of Leading with Care. The new introduction outlines the nature and scope of Leading with Care, its theological foundations, and its guiding principles. 
The new introduction also provides definitions of important terms and outlines the relationship between the leading with care policy and the sexual abuse and sexual harassment policy. Additional resources are available on the website to support the implementation of the policy and fulfillment of its procedures. You can find these resources under the learning tool on the website in a box entitled Additional Resources. Please contact the National Offices of the Presbyterian Church in Canada if you have questions about the policy or to request a seminar on its implementation.